heard the term active monitoring, sometimes called synthetic monitoring. But unless you have a background in development or web performance, you may not know exactly what these terms mean or how this type of monitoring could help you. So how does it work? Active monitoring is a type of performance testing that creates simulated, geographically dispersed web traffic, like robots, for the purpose of measuring page speed and performance. Active monitoring providers spin up servers in locations all over the globe that can interact with websites or web apps at set intervals or frequencies. These servers can perform ping checks to simply test whether a website is up or down, or they may run a web driver in a browser. Robots in real browsers can load web pages and perform tasks, just like how real users load or interact with web pages in their browsers on their devices. For example, a robot might log into an account or complete a checkout process, and along the way, that robot can capture data from the browser about how fast elements load in and whether they encounter any errors. Web performance affects user experience. Learning about how quickly a website loads helps businesses make their websites better for real visitors. For business people, active real browser testing takes the guesswork out of page performance reporting. Unlike analytics from real web traffic, active monitoring provides constants and eliminates variables, which makes it easier for businesses to baseline performance and isolate root causes of latency and downtime. Unlike back-end application monitoring, real browser tests can show everything that loads when a user interacts with a website, including any third-party content. And because this type of monitoring is completely external, it doesn't require any client-side installation. It can be used to benchmark a website's performance against its key competitors. Active monitoring allows businesses to A-B test how a site would perform with or without a third-party script, compare performance in pre-production environments versus production environments, monitor externally managed SaaS applications, and report on whether performance meets service license agreements. So that's it. Now you know that not all bots on the web are bad bots. Some of them are helping developers make websites better and faster for real people.